Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Donna. And for those of you not new, thank you so much for continuing to come back and enjoy my channel and love on me and support me. I appreciate every single one of you so very much for clicking on my video. I know that you don't have to, so it warms my heart so very much that you do. I don't know why I sound Southern every single time I say that. <laughs> Alright, so today is the next installment in my Palette Roulette series in which I use an app to choose a palette that I am using all week long. And then I use that palette and then come back and tell you all about my experiences with that palette and then choose another one to use for the next week. I hope that you guys are enjoying this series. I did get a lot of confirmation that there are people out there that are actually watching this series, so that's good to know. Uh, the palette that was chosen for me last week was the Huda Beauty New Nude palette and I absolutely love this palette. Uh, I am uploading this video a little bit late. I spent an awful lot of time out of town last week and then helped my daughter move back. So I'm super excited about that. In addition to the holiday weekend, I hope that you guys had an amazing holiday weekend. So this video is coming to you just a, a, a couple days late. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out and waiting for it. <laughs> um, so today, like I said, we are going to go through the uh, Huda Beauty New Nude palette. Oh, I got my hair redone. Look, you guys, it is purple and then a darker red on top. We didn't put a whole lot of new color onto it, just the purple and then drug it out down through the ends and then put like a bubblegum pink on top to kind of bring that red back out. But my roots are all purple. I am so excited. I'm also shaved. Well, you guys can't see it. Let me turn around. <laughs> I'm also shaved all the way around, which is something I wasn't before. So I have to tell you, it feels amazing. It is too hot here for hair, and I have a lot of hair. So I'm super excited about my haircut. And the new color. I love it, although I did love the other one too. Let's talk about the new nude palette. So this is the Huda Beauty new nude palette and when it was shown on Trend Mood as a palette that was coming out, I knew I had to have it. It is a beautiful palette and Huda Beauty is one of those brands that even though I know that they're not cruelty free, I cannot get away from spending money on because I just absolutely love their shadows. So this is what the inside of the palette looks like. It's got a beautiful full size mirror. And then this is the cover for the shadows, which is a really hard plastic and a beautiful, really hard plastic piece, which I think is brilliant of Huda to do in her palettes. All of her palettes have a really nice like cover for the shadows. And then these are the shadows. So this is a palette that has multiple different um, formulas in it. And it includes this new like shimmer formula, which if you are familiar with how the palette looks when you first dig into it before you start using it, this one still kind of has some of those spottiness in it. But you'll see like what appears to be voids in the shimmer and it's not really a void it's just extra pearls I guess this one is more of a traditional shimmer color and then we have a couple of pressed glitters I have to be honest I did not use the pressed glitters this week I didn't take a glitter glue with me and these glitters just don't stay on your lids unless you do have a glitter glue with you this also has a concealer shade in here and it is called concealed and it is supposed to be um, what you would use to stick the glitters onto or to use with these shimmer, these really funky shimmer shades that we've got going on in this palette. I will tell you this, I didn't use this very much for that purpose. I did use it once or twice on my eyes in the eye looks I created, but I just don't find that it is an amazing concealer and it's certainly not one that the rest of, um, or not the rest, I guess the glitters will stick to. You really do need a glitter glue for those glitters. These shimmers, 
work far better with your finger than they do anything else. So my, I think originally when this palette was sold, it was sold with a tool that you could use for those shimmers so that you weren't using your finger. I am somebody who hates digging my finger into my palettes. If I can at all help it, I will not use my finger. I did try it with the foam applicators that I also use for the Super Shock Shadows from ColourPop, and it just didn't seem to work very well that way either. Truly the best way to put these on is with your finger. I did use every single shade in this palette, and I will tell you that they are all beautiful. They are all beautifully pigmented. I love every single one of them. Uh, reverse minus the two glitter shades. I already told you guys I didn't use those. So the the great thing about this palette is you could definitely get like a super sultry look out of it with these uh, cranberries and mauve tones but you can also get a super daytime look out of it. This look that I have on today is just a really monochromatic I look it does have this shimmer on the lid in addition to this one that I just kind of popped into the center of the lid. I've got this color on um, right over the top of that and then mm, I think I put this color on over the top of that and then this color on over the top of that and it just it, it just doesn't appear to have a whole lot of definition into it. But I, when you're up close and personal, it really does. And I will put some pictures in here so that you guys can see that. I also used this palette on my daughter who wanted me to do her makeup one day and she absolutely loved it. What I will tell you about that day is I didn't use a primer on her and I did use a primer with myself all week with this. And by, you know, four hours in, it was kind of worn off her eye. That might be because she's seven years old and probably was dinking around with her eye. But that also could mean that they don't last that long. I didn't find any kind of issue with them lasting on my eyes. But like I said, I did use a, an eye primer every single day I used this palette. When this palette first came out, I think I only had one other palette by Huda Beauty at that time, and it was the Desert Dusk palette, and I kind of went back and forth with it because there is a couple shadows in the Desert Dusk palette that are super scratchy that I did not, did not like. This one, I will tell you, none of these powders is super scratchy. They are all very, very nicely milled and very blendable. They blend like a dream. Sorry, I had to get a little bit closer. They blend like a dream and they are just so creamy to the touch. Like I said, the only one that I do not like really is the concealer shade in here is kind of poo. I wouldn't use it. And these two glitters really do need a glitter glue to stay on your skin. I'm not going to do swatches of this. If I can find some swatches online, I will go ahead and insert them into this video. These I would like to swatch. These shades here, which are the fun uh, new formula for her shimmers, and those are them. They just have this super amazing like wet look to them that is just so freaking pretty. This is what they look like. Just one swipe and I just found them to be oh my god just so beautiful like this one right here I do have in the center of my lid just because it is just so pretty and they're not super chunky I don't know if you guys can see that they're not super chunky they go on really smoothly really nicely but they do as I said apply so much better with your fingers I will say that this this shimmer right here was probably my most used in the palette. It is, it really is a beautiful shimmer formula. It goes on really nicely and it is the kind of shimmer that you can pack onto your eye, eyelid and then blend out and then it just creates this really beautiful one shade eye look. This shade right here called Love Bite, one of my favorites, I used it all the time. It is sadly, however, the deepest shade in this palette. So it's really hard to 
deepen up an eye look to the extent that you might want it. I wish this had um, one more deeper shade in it. That seems to be my mantra going into these lately is just one more deeper shade. <laughs> I wish it did have just one more deeper shade in it that you could deepen up an eye look with because it was really the only one that you could use for contouring your eye. This one is kind of deep, but not deep enough that you could deepen up your eye look. But I did use it in combination with Love By Often. That one is called Tease. I did use it in combination with Love By Often just to come up with a different color for an outer V to deepen up my eye look. I am going to put start putting some pictures up in here for you. Huda Beauty, as I stated, is not a cruelty-free brand. This palette did cost $65 full price. I do believe I picked it up at Sephora during a 20% off sale, so I did get a little bit of a discount on that. This has 18 eyeshadows in it with five textures. So there's 10 buttery mattes in here, four multi-reflective shadows, two pressed glitters. Am I far enough over that you can see pictures? Two pressed glitters, one pressed pearl, and one concealer base. I don't know what the one pressed pearl is because the four multi-reflective shadows are those first four that I swatched for you. I think the one pressed pearl is the one that I was talking about, which was my favorite shimmer shade. Uh, it really is a beautiful, beautiful shade, but those two pressed glitters, they don't stay on your eyes without a glitter glue. How many times can I say that in this video? And the concealer base is kind of poopa. It's not really... I would have preferred a deeper shadow, uh, another deeper shadow than I would that concealer base. In addition to that, I don't know if you guys saw this concealer base for me. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is so disgusting because the shadows get into the concealer base and then you're kind of screwed. It's going to dry out the concealer base and it is going to just not do wonders for, as a concealer on your eye and every time you put a brush into it you have to make sure it's a clean brush otherwise the shadow that got onto the brush when you were putting the concealer on your eyes will get into the concealer and then it messes up the concealer for the next time that you try it each one of the 18 shadows in here are talc free which i think is phenomenal because there are quite a few of us out there with some uh like sensitivities to talc so that's a good thing and the palette's total net weight is 18.7 grams or 0.69 ounces of product so if you divide 0.69 ounces by the 18 pans that are in this each pan is about 0 0.038 ounces of product which is slightly smaller than say a color pop shadow i know i really go back to ColourPop shadows a lot as a factor for telling me what size a pan is, but like everybody knows ColourPop I feel like, so that's the easiest way for me to describe it. But in a nutshell, that is quite small compared to other single pans of shadow, but not really for any other palette of this size. But again, the price of this palette is pretty hefty. It is a $65 palette. So you are paying just over um, $350, so $361 for each one of those pans of shadow, which isn't bad, uh, but for them to be smaller than a ColourPop shadow, which is about $5 per pan, that, that can be a little steep for some people. Overall, I think all of my pictures are probably in by now. Overall, I really love this palette. I wouldn't turn back time and do it over um, again differently. I'm glad I have it. It is a beautiful palette and I think that it should have maybe been named not New Nude because there's an awful lot of bright cranberry tones in here that definitely aren't nude. But I do love that this has a little bit of 
warmth to it in addition to cool mostly I think mostly this is cool tone for me I think that it's got a lot of uh, a lot of cooler tone shadows in it than what I am used to in my palette collection but I wouldn't change it for the world I do love this palette so with that being said we are going to go ahead and roll for the next palette for those of you who are unaware I do use a app in the Play Store which doesn't like to show you that I have it on my phone for whatever reason I have no clue. Um, I do use an app from the Play Store. I do have a Samsung Note 9 so I get my app from the Play Store and it is called the Decide Now app. Uh, the person who inspired this series on my channel, her name was Danny. Her channel name is Dana Bo. She had a an Apple iPhone and she also picked the same kind of like Wheel of Fortune app to do her why does this not like to show you what's going on with it she did pick the same kind of wheel of fortune type app to do hers with and you just put all of your palettes into this app choose a wheel color that scheme that you want to use and then you can just spin the wheel and choose a new app she uses hers as a declutter series mine is not a declutter series it's just a use get some use out of my items series this is the wheel that I have that I'm using and it has all of my palettes in it and I am going to spin the wheel for the next palette that we will use next week All right, it picked the ABH Modern Renaissance palette. Man, the last three palettes I've had are really just kind of cranberry in tone. All right, I'm gonna go get that palette. I'll be right back. It is so hot in here. All right, guys, this is the Modern Renaissance palette by ABH. I'm sure that you guys have all seen this palette before. It is kind of a cult classic. I cannot get comfortable on this stool. It is kind of a cult classic and this is whoops this is what it looks like inside it does have some berry tones in there but it is mostly a neutral palette minus like this red here this red here and this orange I got to get my mirror down so that I can figure out how, what direction to push my hand into <laughs> anyways this will be my palette for next week I'm super excited to get to use this the biggest difference that I can tell you right now between this palette and the one that I just got done using is that this one has a lot of kick up with the shadows and to be honest the new nude one had very little kick up so I am afraid that a lot of my eye looks will look very similar to the new nude palette but we're gonna try it I know that there are some shades in here that I haven't gotten some use out of so I'm 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 interested I'm I'm good to go I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that if you did that you're considering giving it a big thumbs up it really does help us out here in our YouTube world I also hope that you're considering subscribing to my channel Hopefully you like me or like this content enough that you would consider doing that. If you need to, go watch a few more of my videos. I'm really a kick in the pants and super fun to get along with and super easy to get along with. And I really hope that, that I really hope that I get to see you down in the comments section. Thank you guys again so much for watching my video and taking the time out of your day to do so. Again, I know that you don't have to click on my video, so it warms my heart that you do that and I couldn't be more grateful. I think I have my gratis video coming up this week too, so don't forget to hit that bell so that you're notified when I upload. I do typically upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. It has been a struggle less for me over this last month, but I promise you I'm going to get there. <laughs> I'm going to figure out how I'm going to be able to do this. I think I've come to the conclusion that I'm going to start taking my computer and my camera along with me so that I can edit videos while I am on the road because I think that's the only way I'm going to get it done. <laughs> um, again, thank you guys so much for joining me today. And until next time, bye guys.